Hi everyone, in today's video tutorial I will show you how to install Windows 11 22H2 or any other version of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. This guide is also perfect for those who may want to upgrade their Windows 10 to Windows 11 but are held back by the hardware limitations or do not have a USB drive available. As you can see, this PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements. Let us get started. So the first step you're going to do, you're going to go to your window, to your Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, any, any browser that you want. Then you're going to type in download Windows 11 ISO. Then I'll click enter. Then look for the Microsoft.com website, then click on that. Then you're going to scroll down on the Microsoft website, scroll down, then you're going to look for the ISO tool download. So I'll click here and I'm going to click Windows 11, that one multiple edition. Then you're going to click download now. Uh, then you're going to come and choose the product language. So I'll be choosing English, United States. You can choose any language that you prefer, any language that you would want to use. Then I'm going to confirm. So when I'm done, so I'm going to come and click the 64-bit download link. So I'll just click download and I'm going to start downloading my Windows 11 22H2. But this method can also work on any other version of Windows 11 that you have. Okay, so we shall wait for it to finish downloading, then we shall continue. Okay, uh, we have finished downloading Windows 11 ISO file. Okay, uh, when you're done downloading the Windows 11 22, I mean 24H2 version, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to need to download a tool called Rufus. Okay, so go to your Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge and type download Rufus and press enter. So you come and click on the first link that you have, rufus.ie. Then you're going to scroll down and scroll. So it shall be downloading the latest version currently now, which is 4.6. So I'm going to choose the portable version 4.6. You can also try and use that one in case you want to install it. But I'll go with a portable version. So I'll click that and I'll start downloading. So download the portable version. Okay. Now we are done. We are done downloading. So we have uh, we have the Windows 11 24H2 version, then also have our Rufus downloaded. So the next thing you're going to do, I'll minimize that first. Uh, go and click on the Windows button like this, on the Start button, sorry, and type Disk Management. So they'll bring for you this one, Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. I'll click on that. Then uh, when you come to the disk management section, we're going to come and make sure, make sure that you are not selecting any of these two, okay? In case you are selecting one, it will show something like this, okay? But you can click anywhere like this, then it is not selecting anything. Then you are going to come to action, and then you are going to click create a VHD. A VHD is a virtual disk, okay? Now when you are creating the virtual disk, they are going to ask you for the location where to save your virtual disk. So basically we are going to be using the virtual disk to install our Windows 11. So they are going to ask you where you want to save your virtual disk. You can save the virtual disk anywhere that you prefer. If you check my PC, I currently have only one partition. But if you have, if you have more than one partition, you can even install it on any other partition that you want. Okay, so basically I'm going to be, I'm going to be saving my virtual disk on my desktop. So I'll come and click this, then I'm going to click on desktop. Then I'm going to give it a file name. You can give it any name that you want. So I'm going to call it Win11 Virtual Disk. Anything that you want. Then I'm going to save it. Okay, when I'm done, we are going to come and look for the size of the virtual disk that we are creating. I think if you are 
installed in Windows 11, basically you need to have maybe 8 gigabytes and 9 gigabytes around there, maybe more than, slightly more than 8 gigabytes. So I'm going to create a 9 gigabyte virtual disk. So what do you do? You come and look for that, your calculator, then I'll open that one. So we are going to basically look for how many gigabytes that we want. So for instance, I need 9 gigabytes. So I'll just click 9. If you have any, any other number of gigabytes that you want to create, you can input that. So I'll put 9. Then I'm going to say 9 times 10, 24 megabytes. Then I'm going to say equals. So the number I'm going to get is 9216. So this number that I have, 9216, the same number that I'm going to input on the virtual disk size. So I'm going to write 9216. This, this means that I'm going to be creating a virtual disk for 9 gigabytes. So when you're done, you shall click the VHD. You can also click this in case you, you feel like maybe you want to use it for any other purposes. Okay, then you're going to start with a fixed size. Fixed size means that the, our VHD is going to be strictly 9 gigabytes. But if you want, you can make it dynamic where it is going to expand. But I will start with a fixed size because I know that my Windows 11 cannot exceed the 9 gigabytes. Then when I'm done, I'm going to click OK. So when you are done, you can see that we have our virtual disk that is created on the desktop. OK, so I'll close this. Maybe I can minimize this. Another thing, uh, if you are still in disk management, you can see that we have an allocated space. You see we have disk 1, 9 gigabytes. This 9 gigabytes references to the Windows 11 virtual disk that we created. Okay, this one. Okay, uh, so I'll also minimize that. So when I'm done, uh, we're going to use this Windows 11 virtual disk to create our bootable disk. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to and look for the Rufus that we downloaded. A portable version, so I'm going to open Rufus like that. Yes. Then I'm going to also click yes for uh, online updates. You can choose any option you want. Now, uh, in case you are not having any USB drive installed in your PC, or like in case you're not inserting any USB drive, automatically Rufus is going to pick up the virtual disk. It will pick it up automatically. But in case you have a USB drive that you are inserting in your computer, then Rufus is going to pick up the USB drive first. So if you want Rufus to pick up the virtual disk, then make sure that you take out the USB drive from your computer. Okay, so if I hover through here, you can see that they are saying Microsoft Virtual Disk 9 gigabytes. Then I'm going to come and select, click select. Then I'll look for the Windows that I want, which is Windows 11. 24H2, so I'll click open. Then when I'm done, I'm going to come, uh, you can come and select GPT and MBR depending on your system. Okay, please make sure that you know if your computer is using GPT or if your computer is using MBR. Okay, uh, if your computer is using MBR and you want to change it to GPT, you can please check out our video of how to convert MBR to GPT. Okay, so please confirm before you move on this. Then I'm going to click on GPT, then I'll come and move on. The rest I'll just click start. Then you see that saying remove the requirement for 4GB and everything, I'll tick that. Remove requirement for online Microsoft account, I'm also going to tick that. I'll, then I'll set disable bit locker, I'm going to disable data collection. Then I'm also going to set the regional options, the same as the current user. I also want to create a local account with a username Winnex. So I'm going to take everything. So please, you can take according to your preferences. But in order to bypass the other system requirements, you have to make sure that you take the first one, the remove requirement for 4GB RAM, the secure boot, and the TPM 2.0. Okay, then when I'm done, I'm going to click OK. Then, of course, they're going to erase everything. But sure disk it is empty so i also click ok then everything is going to start uh i i realized that when you are doing this it is going to be so fast since that the virtual disk is where located on your drive automatically so the process is going to be so fast so I'll come back when it is done now we are done
creating our Windows installation drive. Okay, so I'm going to close this. I can also close this. And now when you come to the virtual disk that we created, so I'll be opening it up. Okay, when you open up the Windows virtual disk, you can see that we have all of this. Okay, basically we have all of this. Okay, uh, so that what you're going to do is you're going to click on the setup. I will click setup like that to start, to start that process of even installation or upgrade. So I'm going to click on that setup. Then I'm going to have the process that is going to start running up. Uh, if you check and if I click under this PC, you're going to see that Windows 11 has already set up the files. Like it has already, the files have already been like extracted. Okay. So, uh, they've been mounted to this other partition that is created here. So you will see something like that. So let us continue. So we are going to have Windows 11 installation process starting up. Then I'll come and choose next. Okay, that's saying install Windows 11. So I'll just click next. Uh, I think you can do the rest of the processes. Then you're going to be having getting updates. Uh, basically, it, it may take some time to finish up everything because you are already installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So it will take some time compared maybe to other computers that have the hardware. So I'm going to go through the process of installing the Windows 11. I'm going to fast forward and you see how my process went through everything until it finished, okay? Then I'll be back with that. Uh, our installation has finished. Uh, you can see that now we have Windows 11. If you check and I click here, we have Windows 11. Uh, we did not lose any of our data. If you remember, we created a virtual disk. Windows 11 it is still here. Okay. Uh, so thank you for watching the presentation. Uh, I think that is it. Uh, maybe I would also advise that you go ahead and delete this. It is fine. You can go and delete that. Uh, if you go to this PC, see that? Because it is occupying some space, okay? So you can go ahead and delete that. Also go and, uh, and look for how to delete this Windows old folder so that you can create enough space on your hard disk. Okay, so you can go and delete that. And also you can Google how to delete the Windows old. And also, it is fine. You can just delete this virtual disk. Just right click and you delete. Okay, so just right click and delete or you can click shift and delete and you permanently delete it so that is it for today uh thank you very much please subscribe and hit the bell notification bell for more videos thank you goodbye